Otterly Alice. I'm Peter Paul, the artist who painted Otterly Alice for the Moor Otters Trail, Devon 2017. Here's the blank otter at my home in Brighton, ready to be painted. The first colour to go on, yellow for the blonde hair. The feet are green because I'm making them undergrowth. And the back has a Cheshire Otter and a caterpillar from the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. The otter also features plants native to Dartmoor. The shoes are actually on the otter's knees, making her look shorter than the full otter to give an illusion of Alice wearing a dress. Andy Bow on the back. Her right profile looking out my window. And there's also a story. Ottilie Alice, which has been done as a book that she's holding. Here you see the cover coming to life. But where will Ottilie Alice be displayed? Well, let's go off to Devon to find out. Curiouser and curiouser. Curiouser and curiouser. Curiouser and curiouser. Curiouser and curiouser. Crediton Community Bookshop was established in 2013 when 300 local people got together and bought shares to keep a bookshop in the centre of Crediton. Since then the shop's gone from strength to strength and last year we were able to win a grant to match a mortgage and move the shop to a larger premises in the centre of town and Utterly Alice fits within our remit of being able to provide a venue for a great artistic representation and part of the Moor Otter Trail, putting Crediton on the map and encouraging people to come and participate in the trail. We have books about Alice in Wonderland around it as well as otters around it. It was chosen by one of our town councillors and a member of our community to fit within the venue and to yeah, represent Crediton as well as the community bookshop. You've got the Dartmoor books here on display if you want. Local interest book, the history of the church, the history of St Boniface and all that goes with Crediton. It's a very, very friendly place to live. It's a good, excellent place to come and visit, yes. And to see Alice. Most excellent. And to see Alice, yes. And for children to see Alice in particular because that attracts more people simply because children know Alice and can relate to Alice. This, this shop is featuring anything to do with otters, apart from Alice in Wonderland, also the otter books. It's, that, that my National Park's the love of my life, and that's why, as a councillor, I grabbed it, uh, so that we should benefit at the same time as the National Park benefiting. They benefit mostly, of course, because it's their project. Our local newspaper has been very good indeed. I've submitted many articles and photographs, and they've published all of them. I can't wish you more than that. Curiouser and curiouser. Curiouser and curiouser. Curiouser and curiouser. Curiouser and curiouser. How very contrary, said Alice. I've met a mock turtle, but not a mock otter. There's never any such thing. I assure you, there is, said the strange little animal, poking its nose from the water. I'm an otter, so I otter know. You are certainly not an otter. I can't think what it would be like said Alice. It would surely be a curious thing. With that, Alice felt a most peculiar sensation. 
Her nose twitched, her arms stretched, and the silkiest fur grew all over her. In just a minute, she was not just Alice. She was utterly, utterly Alice. Come for a swim, said her animal friend, splashing in the stream. I can't, said Alice. You're a proper otter. Oh, this must be a dream. Otterly Alice is part of the Moore Otters Trail, Devon, 2017. Oh, this must be a dream. Oh, this must be a dream. Oh, this must be 